In this video, we'll be discussing the who, what, where, when, why, and how of wet notes for advanced and technical diving. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. So the first issue is who can benefit from using wet notes? We have found that wet notes are not only useful for technical divers, as you would expect, but also for advanced open water divers. During training courses and actual dives, these types of divers actually have the need to record information. Many divers traditionally use slates. However, we have discovered that wet notes offer a much more versatile option for these types of divers. Wet notes are small notebooks with waterproof paper designed to record information underwater. Wet notes are manufactured by a large number of different companies and the features for each manufacturer differs slightly. Here's the inside of a typical set of wet notes. The left hand side has some elastic pockets for writing implements. In this case, the original pencil that came with the wet notes has been discarded and replaced with an underwater mechanical pencil. There is also a write in the rain underwater pen. On the right hand side is the actual notebook of waterproof paper. This notebook can be removed and replaced with a new blank set. Here is the inside back cover of the wet notes. Here we have a transparent acetate pocket to hold various accessories. I sometimes carry a pink eraser in this pocket and sometimes some cash. Here is the back outside cover of the wet notes. Here we have a full-sized transparent acetate sleeve. This sleeve is typically used to display information which must be readily accessed. Keeping with our format, the next issue is where do you keep the wet notes? There are actually several ways to secure your wet notes. One way is to keep the wet notes in your wetsuit or dry suit pocket. This is perhaps one of the most common means. Another one is to attach the wet notes to a D-ring using a double ender. A third means is to use the bungee cord on the wet notes itself that is used to keep the wet notes closed. You can attach the wet notes using this bungee to your arm. I have also secured the wet notes to my utility pouch on my waist belt. There is a separate video on the channel on utility pouches that illustrates how to do that. Next, we'll discuss when and why you typically use wet notes. I will address this issue in the context of other possible alternatives that divers may use. Many divers begin their diving career with the use of a slate. Slates come in a form like this, which can be attached to a D-ring, or in the form that can be attached to the diver's wrist. Both of these types of slates can offer either just a single page or can offer multiple pages. Information can generally be recorded on both the front and rear surface of each page. The advantage of using wet notes over slates are that significantly more information can be recorded and can be recorded permanently in the wet notes versus the limited space available in any slate. 
to record the same volume of information in a set of wet notes, you would have to repeatedly erase a slate. And if you run out of space in a set of wet notes, you can easily replace the existing wet notes with another blank notebook. The previous notebook can be placed in storage for future reference. While information written in the wet notes with a pencil can be erased and the pages reused, it is also possible to permanently record information in the wet notes with a permanent marker such as a Sharpie. So wet notes have greater capacity and flexibility than traditional slates. The last and most important issue is how do you use wet notes? Advanced recreational divers would typically use wet notes both during their advanced open water certification course and also on subsequent dives. During their AOW course, divers would typically use wet notes to draw diagrams for the wreck dive and also for conducting gas consumption calculations. We have also used wet notes during AOW courses during peak performance buoyancy to record weight configurations. Divers can also use wet notes for taking notes about each dive, such as the navigation dive. For post-training dives, these divers would use wet notes for recording information about particular dive sites and also for dive planning. Wet notes are also very useful for communicating information between divers underwater. The most common use of wet notes is by technical divers and at least one certification agency requires technical divers to have wet notes in their possession for both training and subsequent dives. One of the most common uses of wet notes for technical divers is to have a hard copy of the dive plan. I will generally record a hard copy of the primary dive plan as well as a few contingency plans on the waterproof paper in the notebook. I will also make a copy of the current plan on a plastic slate which I will insert into the acetate sleeve on the outside of the wet notes. This allows rapid access to the dive plan without having to find the dive plan in the wet notes. Another use of the wet notes for technical divers is to record emergency procedures. In general, I will make a copy of a flowchart like this and have it on the back of the pages for the wet notes. This allows me to rapidly access the emergency procedures in the event that they are needed. I will also use the wet notes to record various technical diving formulas for ready reference. Here I have the equations for calculating the sack rate. I also have the formulas for the maximum operating depth for the working and deco ATAs. As with recreational divers, technical divers can also use wet notes to record the weight required for different gear configurations. This can include situations of fresh versus salt water and different exposure suits. You now know the who, what, where, when, why, and how of wet notes for advanced and technical diving. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.